Mr. Pierce came in here uh, about a month ago with uh, a bunch of numbers on uh, which I found rather interesting. I haven't heard anyone refute those numbers. Basically, he was trying to answer the question, we paid off something over half a million dollars in debt. Why is the the default budget, the proposed budget, $800,000 higher when we paid off a half a million dollars? Or no, 300000 higher. Thus, what, there's an $800,000 difference. Is that, was that right, Mike? No, if you they figure in the retirement of the debt, yes. Yeah, We've never figured that in before, so I don't understand how we can start figuring it in now. What do you mean? The retirement of the debt has never been added back before. I believe Christy provided some information on that going back several years. Christy, didn't it go back to like 2007 or something, that sheet you did? I don't understand what you're asking, Regina. Well, you're making a comparison that's never been made before, is my point. I mean, usually in accounting, you look at things, how do I want to say it? Um, I can't think of the word right now. Apples and apples, the word I'm looking for, consistently. So, yeah, yeah. So we pay and, and it I off. I, I mean, we could be towns that don't pay off our debt. Oh, I'm not. I'm being a lot I'm, better. I'm a delighted. Lot worse I'm delighted than we to be paid off our debt. But as I said in that meeting, you know, when, you know I take on a, if a person takes on a second mortgage to you know do home improvements, he's delighted when that second mortgage is paid off, and expects that he's going to have more discretionary income. Mm -hmm. Well, there's several uh, lines. But that what we're seeing is that discretionary income is not there, even though we paid off the debt, and so. I think that's a fair analogy. Uh, well, I've actually been looking at Mr. Pierce's worksheet, and I had asked for the electronic version, but I have I have had you know discussions with Mr. Pierce, and I have not received that. But just looking at the hard copy, I am not even sure if I brought that tonight because I didn't think we were going to be talking about it. But I also have something else that I've been looking at that just not shows everything that's gone net gone up, but it also show line items that have stayed the same or gone down. So I think as part of maybe the final budget review, yeah. we should just not look at lines that have gone up, but also lines that have gone down. Uh, yes, That's but may, let me ask a, a, probably a stupid question. We have debt service, which is clearly outlined in our book. We owe on bonds right. for highways and God knows what. It took us five years <laughs> to pay off the debt for the mechanical packers, the trailers, the first set of carts, et cetera, for the new uh, public works waste pickup stuff. That debt is gone. I didn't see that we added a new debt in there. So that should be a vacancy in the debt service coming into 2017, should it not? That's that's yeah, that went down by what is it? Five hundred nineteen thousand. Yeah, well, that's what I think. That was what Mike was saying. If we don't owe that money anymore, if it's paid off, then that should lower our indebtedness by whatever we were. It did. Paying. It did. It exactly did that. Okay. And the point being, if you stop paying at uh, five hundred nineteen and sixteen, then you have that five hundred nineteen based on your total bottom line budget numbers. That you've managed to add to the 17 budget plus uh, 300 and some thousand, but making that five, an 800 and some thousand dollar increase, basically. Okay. Because but that no, because that 519 thousand dollars that was paid down does it wasn't it was because we did refinancing and we paid off we paid off the recycling like no, she stated in another one. It was yeah. Pure refinance, uh, not refinance. It was debt payment. Yeah. Debt debt that was refinanced in previous years. Right. Well, that. But, it, it was, in fact, a debt payment. So how can you before. add that back to one well, year? I'm not adding it back. I'm just saying. Well, yeah, that's in my mind. That's what it's doing. Well, it's that we've never done it before. I'm to explain why you might be confused on that. Okay. The, the it's not consistent. Other bodies line. in this town are telling us that the budget is only up to $300,000. 295000 right. something, I believe. Right. You don't yeah. mind if I round it to three hundred, do you? No. All right. So oh. we're being told that the budget's only up $300,000, but we're not being told that we paid off a half a million dollars in debt. It's shown. All right. It's no, shown as no, part no, of the no, budget. No. When we make the statement that the budget's <laughs> up three hundred thousand dollars, we don't point out that that includes uh, the five hundred thousand dollars that we no longer have to pay. It's gone. It's gone. Right. right. So therefore, it's actually up if you take the debt out, which would 
which we did because we paid it off, it's actually up not three but eight hundred thousand. Right. That's how we come to that. Exactly. Actually, as I'm thinking here, we paid off the three point one million, whatever it was, in five, over five years. That was not a reconfigured debt, was it? Because you've got no. the other reconfigured debts here. <coughs> The uh, wastewater treatment plant for 99, because I remember we've asked you to consolidate some of the loans. But that 3.1 million was to be paid off over five years. But we paid in five year increments. So every one of the five years, a fifth of that debt was taken off. So 500,000 of it wouldn't have come off all at once. The last payment would have come off all at once. Is that making any sense? I see what you mean, because I know the original, well, but it was 500,000 for each of the five payments, wasn't it? Well, Christy has the exact number. It was yeah. slightly over $500,000 in annual debt service that, that has been retired. Yeah. Right. Huh? Per year, we're paying $500,000, which would be saying it's annual. Yeah. Right. We retired, we retired 500000 thousand plus dollars in in debt service yeah. that means annual payments not okay? the 3.1 million right. right and that that occurred as a result of paying off certain loan principles yeah I had that accurate Fred more or less I don't have the figures in front of me so well yeah. more, that's why I said more or less hmm. paid off debt we do that every year yeah yeah <clears throat> so uh, it was retired was the recycling equipment and the 2000 and Five SRF. Uh, right. What was, the, what was the total uh, payment last year on that? I don't know what the pay. I don't have that in front of me, but I know that the two that were retired uh, total four hundred fifty-three, no, four hundred fifty-two thousand one hundred and four. In terms of debt service. Yeah. So um, the question was that I believe Mr. Pierce. So I don't know why you're being silent since this is your work. Uh, You're doing a good enough job of talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, d I did some looking at it. I'm trying to figure out exactly, you know, where you're coming from. And what I'm looking at is well, I'm looking at uh, $300,000 more on the we budget. Need to sort That's this obvious. 500000 coming off the debt service. You can add those two together and say that the budget's actually above by 800000 right. And the question is, all right, where in the budget is that $800,000? And that appears to be the question that it was asked or that you're trying to answer. And when I look at your summary here, what stands out to me is this bullet you have on here of uh, $697,000 in wage and benefit increases. That seems to be the, you know, the, the huge chunk that establishes. That is, that is a big part of it, right? I don't have that sheet with me either, but um, I don't have my computer sitting here. so. I'm a little bit of a loss as the particular numbers, but no, if you if your spending goes down in one slot, that means if you keep the same number, you still have that extra money to spend the next year. Let's say the budget's uh, twenty-six million dollars, then you have it for sixteen, and you say your budget for seventeen is going to be twenty-six million dollars, but you paid off five hundred nineteen, you're going to have five hundred nineteen thousand dollars left over unless you spend it on something else. Yeah, it's just and, plain old logic. And, but putting that aside, it, when you add all the stuff up that they actually added to the budget, it's a, a significant amount. Okay? Well, the, what I'm what I'm driving to is that there seems to be uh, not a consensus on the numbers, and these numbers are really facts, and facts shouldn't be in dispute. Right. Well, I have a problem with this worksheet, which is why I wanted to ask for the electronic one because. On the 2017 increase, a lot of these figures, 83,629 is showing up on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 line items. I highly doubt that 14 line items have increased by the same exact amount. Well, um, I, 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 I don't, I mean, I didn't create the sheet. I didn't, I didn't at all. Let me have see any your copy because I don't even have that written. Exactly. I assume that Mike would give you this. And I have some information that both me and the finance director have been working on in this area, but we wouldn't. This was the agenda tonight was for the Warren articles. Right. Well, so I would like to postpone that discussion, Mr. Chairman, for when we actually, actually are talking about the budget. Actually, that's exactly where I'm driving, Regina. Okay. Good. Uh, I would. I would like the. I would like management 
to uh, you know ha come up with their own numbers in these categories so that we can analyze them and probably perhaps even just agree on what they are so we don't have to dispute over our numbers because they are just facts. It's already been worked on. Uh, so I look forward to seeing that. The particular line item that disturbed me, and I'm just going to use round numbers here, Regina, so forgive me. According to the peer summary sheet, he says that there is $700,000 in wage and benefit increases. And I believe that figure is completely wrong. And that's what he says. And he also says that slightly more, we'll call it just $500,000 of that wage and benefit increases is actually included in the default budget. So Which five, five out of the... Incorrect in stating that. So what he's asserting is that five out of seven dollars in wage and benefit increases are in the default budget and thus not subject to voter uh, discretion on the matter. And well, that's, that's not that, really correct. What, it's in the default budget. We're assuming that has to do with union contracts and things of that nature, whether it's a binding contract. Well, yeah, I wasn't. And that I wasn't is, discriminating. Well, that is what's just, consisted in the default budget. I wasn't discriminating whether it's contractually or not. I'm just saying mm -hmm. that's the line item you have here. Uh, I'd like to know more about that. I'd like to have those numbers confirmed or, or, or refuted. Um, and that's really all I'm after. And I don't expect an answer Susie, tonight. can we just... Yeah, I, I mean, I'm an working, we are working on this request. I mean, we've, I am very aware of the okay. sheet that Mr. Pierce passed out a month ago, mm -hmm. and it is being worked on, but I just figured we would discuss that as when we were in the final review of the budget. So Does that make sense, sense to everyone? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd rather have okay. it before the final review so we can okay. actually have time to review it. And I 